All right, guys, I accidentally uh, closed that because apparently I'm a, a technological noob, okay? So I, I did want to cl – closing thoughts, guys. Um, I know that there's a lot of stress associated with what's going on politically, okay? And big speech, big picture what's going on in the world, um, and I, I totally get that, and I and I understand it, all right? I, I am stressed, all right? And, and maybe it's the – maybe it's the – like the stress of, of what's going on with politics. Maybe it's um, – maybe it's also, you know – being remote, coming in person, then being remote again. Maybe it's all the testing that we had to do last week, but I definitely was feeling the stress, okay, um, kind of coming down on me, all right? And and I, I wanted to just, you know, first off, I want to tell you guys that this is going to be fine, all right? I know that there's a lot of talk about chaos and craziness is going out there. People, someone told me yesterday that Dearborn's boarding up their, their doors, and I was like, oh, that's scary, okay, people riding in the streets. We've been through this before, guys, okay? We have a very old democracy, and we've done it before, and I think that we're going to be A-OK -okay on the other side of this, okay? But if you are feeling stressed, guys, I did want to offer you a little uh, meditation. I did this with my class yesterday. This is a, a meditation that I, um, I did uh, when um, I lost my dad, and it was something that was actually very helpful to me, okay? So I'm going to walk you guys through it. Um, and uh, I would just encourage you just, you know, just kind of be open to the feelings and emotions that you're, you're having while we're doing this. Don't try to shut them out. We're just going to try to actually understand those emotions better. And, and if we understand something better, okay, much like our elections, if we understand our elections better, then it kind of gives us power over them. Okay. So if you're feeling a lot of emotions right now, this, this meditation is designed for you to, to try to better understand those emotions. And once you better understand them, then maybe they'll have less control over you. Okay. So we're going to put our feet flat on the ground. Hands flat on our lap or on the desk in front of you, how, wherever you're sitting. Deep breath in. Exhale, feel your body relax into your chair. I want you guys to notice where it is that you're holding your stress in your body. And wherever it is that you're kind of holding it, just kind of acknowledge that. And just to get started here, I want you just to open up with a couple deep breaths. And as you exhale, maybe feel those points of stress kind of relax a little bit. And feel free to do that a couple times. And then I, I just want you, first thing we're going to do is I want you to kind of recognize what is the, what are the emotions that you're feeling right now? Not trying to change it, not trying to judge it or push it out of your mind. Actually, quite the opposite. I, I want you just to sit, simply recognize how it is that you feel in this moment. It might be stressed, anxious, sad. Some of you might be even be hopeful or excited. Maybe you're a mix of those emotions. But however you're feeling in this point in time, just kind of try to recognize that and acknowledge it. Next, I want you to do something that's actually really hard. But I want you to allow yourself to feel that way. And I know you're thinking that might be kind of a silly thing to do, but so often when we're stressed or we're anxious or depressed or we're feeling negative emotions, we want to try to push them out. All right? We try to make us ourselves not feel those things. And it's kind of like a Chinese finger trap. The harder you try to push those emotions out, the the kind of like the deeper they kind of work their claws into ourselves. So instead of trying to push it out, I want you to simply like recognizing those emotions and, and just allow them to be there. Allow yourself to be stressed. That's okay. These are stressful times. Allow yourself to be sad. That's also okay. There's lots of things to be sad about in the world. And if you're feeling hopeful, allow yourself to be hopeful because there's a lot to be hopeful about. But just give yourself permission to feel the feelings that you have right now. Maybe see if you can feel like when you're trying to push those emotions out, you feel yourself kind of cringe around them. Just kind of let that go. Next thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to investigate those emotions. 
And um, this is kind of a fun one, but this is where we get our power. I want you to see if you can try to get curious about the feelings that you're feeling right now. See if you can take that stress or that anxiety or that hopefulness or that sadness and see what's it doing to your body. Where does that emotion live? For me, when I felt the grief of the loss of my father, I felt it right here, kind of like in the upper part of my abdomen, right below my chest. I, I could I could feel it. I would actually name it. I named I would I would think of a little Muppet living inside of me. And it may seem weird, but those emotions affect us physically. So see where it is that you're carrying that emotion. It might be in your forehead, in your eyes your jaw and your shoulders but get curious about it you might not feel it anywhere in particular it might just be this general kind of whole body sensation that you have again we're not trying to change it we're just seeing where it lives where it exists in us This last one I'm going to tell you guys is what we call natural awareness. And this is the one we're going to stick through with our, with our uh, singing bowl here. I want you to see if you can feel a, a feeling of compassion for yourself. For me, this kind of helps me when I'm doing this to, I just kind of try to get a little, little smile around the corners of my, my mouth. And just see if you can feel some just general goodwill towards yourself because you, you deserve to feel good about yourself. You deserve to feel positive about yourself. We, we often express compassion and sympathy for other people, but so rarely we'll extend, extend that to ourselves. So maybe see if you can give yourself a little equanimity, a little forgiveness for not maybe living up to your own standards, uh, maybe just a little just general joy for who you are. And, and see see if you can you can cultivate that within yourself. For the next minute, I want you to hold on to that feeling. As you do lose that, as your mind starts to wander to the stresses and the anxieties that we have in life, that's fine. Acknowledge it, okay? Recognize it. Allow that. Allow yourself to feel that emotion. But then just gently bring yourself back to that feeling of compassion. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Move whatever way is comfortable. Reach back, take a deep breath. <sighs> Blow it off slow. All right, guys. I hope that's helpful. Um, and uh, if you've done this whole meditation, guys, congratulations. You've meditated for about 10 minutes, which might be a long time for you. Um, and as we're going through the day, as news results come in and we're kind of bombarded by all these different things that go on in 2020, Remember, you got this place of calm that you can come back to. Think about this feeling, how you feel right now, and you can return to that feeling at any point in the day when you're starting to feel that anxiety and that stress rising in you. All right. All right, guys. I like all of you, obvious, with obvious exceptions. Um, and uh, yeah, see you guys soon.